Good evening, good evening, Facebook friends. Eugene Fedorovsky coming at you live from Brooklyn, New York. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday night, to be more specific. I'm here for very quick reason. Sunday night is the time to reflect. Reflect on your goals, reflect on your week, reflect on what you did do, what you didn't do, and especially set up goals for the next week. Uh, a lot of us, especially me before, Sunday night is the time when you start realizing that the weekend is over, Monday is almost here, it's like, oh, again, you know, Monday, or whatever it is. But if you've been following me for a certain amount of time, you've noticed that I do usually a video on Monday, stating about don't hate Mondays. So the same thing goes for Sunday night. Don't dread Monday morning or Monday the whole, as in the whole day. I heard from Eric Worre, the best way to achieve goals is to plan, do, review. So you set up your goals, you plan them out, you break them down into step by step what, you, what it is that you actually have to do in order to achieve them. Then you do it whatever it is that you have to do in order to achieve those goals. And at the end, you review to see whether you accomplished your goal, if you didn't, how far you were off, what what you can change next time, and things of that nature. So because it is Sunday night, and if you have done what I told you to do last week, go over the, those goals that you set. Did you accomplish them? If you didn't, or if it's a more of a long-term goal, are you on the track to accomplish that long-term goal? If you didn't, why not? What, is, what can you change in this coming week in order to make sure you hit your goals? Is the goal too big? There's never such a thing as a big, enough, too big of a goal. Goals have to be big. They have to pull you in that direction. So my recommendation to you guys tonight is sit down. You still got, it's almost seven, so we still got two, three, four hours before people go to sleep. Take five, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Sit down and write out the, what are you going to accomplish this following week? Set up some short-term goals, meaning what, what exactly are you going to do each and every single day? Plan it out. And then you, this way, once Monday hits, you'll know what to do. When Tuesday hits, you'll know what to do because you can refer back to this, the, this little schedule that you made for yourself. And uh, those goals that are, cannot be accomplished in a week, let's say in a month, a year, whatever, however long-term you set it, Break down those goals, and at the lowest level, you, sh you could have a weekly goal or a daily goal or weekly set of tasks to accomplish that huge goal, and then you can accomplish it. And when you get to next Sunday, what you can do is you can sit down and you can review it again. So this way, you can plan, do it, and then review it next Sunday to see if there's something you missed. I strongly, strongly urge you guys to write it down. I read somewhere this week that if you actually write it down with a pencil or a pen on a piece of paper, it works better. For me, it works better on my phone. Uh, I have my phone, my iPad, my MacBook all the time with me, so I get a notification when I have to do something. Hey Noah, happy Sunday to you, buddy. Um, I have notifications coming up every single time I have to do something, so that keeps me on track. If I write it down on a piece of paper, I don't always have it with me, so having on my devices is much much easier for me talking about plans Noah what you up to so that's my recommendation to everyone do it make sure you don't delay don't procrastinate because in the past week if you didn't do it now a week has went by and a week is gonna go by regardless whether you do the goals or not if you do them there's a good chance that you're gonna be able to hit them for example I forgot to mention this for example this today was I was sitting, I was accomplishing all the things that I have not accomplished in a long time. Like one of the things on my goal with uh, without a uh, an end date was to uh, install some lights on the partition we have so my wife's figurines can be lit up. And I finally did it after seven months. So today was a big goal day for me. And the reason why it took me so long was because it was in a list with no due date. I didn't tell myself okay, I have to accomplish it by such and such date. It was just on the list, and it was in the back of a list. So I finally got to do it. She's happy. I'm happy that she's happy. So what is it that you've been doing? What is it that you haven't been doing for a few months or a year or whatever Whatever it is you've been doing? Whatever it is, put it ahead of your list, put a date on it, and accomplish it. Make sure that this week is very productive. Make sure that 
you accomplish what it is you want to do. If you don't accomplish it, don't feel bad for whatever happened in the past. Just look forward to this week. Remember, tomorrow's Monday. It's a new start. And if you plan it out the week, you can hit the ground running. That's it for tonight. Have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of the few hours that, that you guys have with the Sunday. Make sure you do what I say. Because it's for you. It's for your own benefit. I do it for my own benefit. You guys do it for your own. With that said, have a great night, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow.